and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs i'm angel b thank you so much for watching my video if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back for those who are new please consider liking sharing and subscribing this video i would greatly appreciate it for my ogs thank you so much for being here um in today's video i'm going to show you how to slice letters using a cut file and then like turning it into a print and cut file okay so i took a file from creative fabrica it's a 2023 graduate cut file from creative fabrica and then what i did was i sliced it with some images and i created a print and cut file and then added some puff vinyl and we made it into this so this was just a basic all black cut file from creative fabrica and then i added we did the slice um on the pictures and then this is puff wall of cut puff and some metallic i know that my ring light is glaring i'm sorry but this is what we are doing today um it's pretty simple um you can do you can use this with a cut file and you can do print and cut i'm going to be using the caesar dtv um today i don't have it it's all, it's all the way on the other side of the room but um i will leave a link for it down below i do get it from heat transfer warehouse but i will be using the caesar DTV and then I will be using the wallet cut puff vinyl I will have everything linked down below um, but yeah you can do this with printable vinyl you can do this with DTF you can do this with sublimation if you don't care for the puff vinyl puff vinyl effect or anything like that um, so there's multiple different ways that you can do this but today we're going to be using some printable vinyl and some puff vinyl okay so go ahead and stick around Okay guys, so this is the final project um, or this is the what it looks like when it's finished, but I am going to go ahead and um, hide all of this so that we can do it together and I can show you how to work with this file, okay? So I did get this file um, from Creative Fabrica. Um, it's a $19 a month membership, so I didn't have to pay for it because it just comes with, you know, my $19 a month. Okay, so this is the file. This is what it looks like. It is a cut file. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make this 9.5, which is going to be the size that I want it to be on my shirt. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and ungroup this. Okay, and we are going to take the word graduate, hold down the shift key and the hat. We're gonna group those and we're just gonna hide it for now because we're just gonna work with these numbers here because we want to go ahead and add our images. So I'm gonna go back to my upload and these are the four images I'm going to use. I did just download these from Canva. They are in the Canva, um, um, like is it their Canva stock photos. So um, you can upload obviously whatever photos you want but um, these are the photos that I'm going to be working with today. Okay, so let me make this bigger a little bit so we can see our numbers. Okay, so with this, you can't ungroup these numbers, but I don't want to anyway. I want them to stay aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cut file, this basic cut, we're going to go up here to operation and we're going to turn this into the pin so that we can see our pictures okay and now i want to take the picture and i want to send it to the back so now you can see the outline of the number three and you can see the picture and we can go ahead and line it up the way we need to okay so for the first one because this two, 2023 is one image, when you go to slice this, you don't want it to be overlapping into the number two or the next number, okay? So make sure it's just on the one number that you need it to be on. Okay, that looks good. So what I'm gonna do is highlight both and we're going to slice. Okay, now we're gonna take this and delete that. And then we're going to take the slice result, which is the outline of the number, 
and we're going to delete that as well. Okay. And now we just have the number three. What I'm going to do is I don't want to move it. I'm going to highlight it and then I'm going to hide it. And then we're going to delete this as well. Uh-oh, I guess I can't delete that part. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our next number and our next image. So I'm just going to grab an image and bring it on over. And we're going to make it smaller. And you're just going to do the same thing for all of the numbers. Okay, that looks good. We're going to highlight and slice. Then we're going to take this and delete. We are going to take the outline and delete. And then we're going to take the number two slice result. And we're going to hide that as well. Okay, now we're going to work with our next number and our next image. Same thing, we just wanna get it inside as much as we can without touching the number two, that looks good. We're gonna highlight, we're gonna slice, and we're gonna remove this. We're going to remove the slice results, which is the outline, delete that, and then the picture we're going to hide. Okay, and now our last image and our last number here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and highlight, slice, and we're going to remove this the outline and now we can go ahead and bring in all of our numbers again and they should all still be in a row which they are so I'm going to go ahead and select all of those and we're going to group them because we want them to stay in the same alignment um now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back our graduate here so now this should align pretty well, okay? I am going to add an offset to the image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the 2023 and we're going to add a little bit of an offset. So very small. just so that, you know, you can see it pretty good on the shirt. Okay, so that looks about, that looks good. And we're gonna leave it black. Oh, let me go back. And then we're going to highlight both the, off, the offset. So the group of numbers hold down the shift key and then our 2023 offset that we just did and we want to flatten those. Okay, and then we wanna go ahead and adjust it. Make sure, you wanna make sure that it fits even though you are gonna line this up on the shirt, you just want to make sure that everything fits. before you move on. Okay, so now I'm going to take the graduate group and I'm gonna ungroup that. Just because this word graduate, I think I need to make a tiny bit bigger. Okay, that looks good. And then I want to make sure that the hat fits. Okay, and that looks good as well. 
So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to select the hat and we're going to turn this red because we are going to cut that out of red puff. And this one is going to be gray puff. Now, as you can see here, you can see these little cut lines here. You don't want that, even though I did cut it with that, but don't be like me. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we're going to weld that. Okay. So you want to make sure the group is selected, combine, and you're going to go to weld. And now, as you can see, those little cut lines all disappeared. Okay. So make sure you do that. Anytime you have a script font, make sure you weld it especially if you import it as a cut file. And we are all set. This is going to be our image that we're going to go ahead and print out. So the 2023 is going to be print and cut. I am using the Caesar DTV vinyl. Um, this is going to be regular vinyl. We're going to cut this on everyday vinyl. We're going to cut this on everyday vinyl. And I'm going to cut the 2023 on um, the white sticker paper setting. OK, I'm going to go ahead and get this all cut out and then I'm going to come back. I'll meet you at my heat press and we're going to press it together. All right, guys, so I do have everything print and cut out here. Um, So what I'm going to do. This is the shirt I'm going to be using. I'm just going to do a quick pre press. Now, this shirt is a little bit bigger than what it should be for the size of the um print that i did but um i don't actually know anybody graduating so that's why i use the stock photos and then i'm using just like a scrap shirt that i have um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and press the 2023 first i'm just cutting this little piece of ink off because the little piece that was um, right here where my graduate goes, it like fell off and I couldn't get it back on. And then the ink kind of looked weird. So I just completely took it off altogether. Um, but what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to place, place this and make sure it's on the shirt the way that I want. Okay. That looks good. I'm gonna press this first. Now this is um, with the Caesar Easy DTV um, vinyl, the printable vinyl. I will leave a link down below. I did get it from Heat Transfer Warehouse. My press right now is set to 280 degrees for 10 seconds. Now the Caesar Easy Weed, the Caesar, I'm sorry, the Caesar DTV does. Um, that's a tongue twister. The Caesar DTV does take higher heat. However, I didn't feel like waiting for this to like get all the way hot and then cool all the way down again because I needed to be at 280 for the puff. So we're just going to go ahead and press it like this because it's going to get a second press anyway. It will get the amount of time that it needs. So I'm just gently removing this so that it doesn't rip up because again, we just tacked it down. So that looks good there. Now the next piece here is going to be my puff vinyl. And then we're going to add the hat. We're going to do both of them at the same time because I want them to both puff up at the same time and get maximum puffage. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just place a, part, a piece of parchment paper over this DTV so that it doesn't get in, messed up or anything. And then I'm going to tighten this just a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and press. Again, 280 degrees medium pressure for 10 seconds. And then the puff vinyl is a hot peel. And that is 10 seconds there. I think my pressure might have been a little too heavy, but that's okay. There's the red one. Now with this one, I'm going to let it sit there for a second because with the silver, the metallic, even though it says it's a hot peel, 
anytime I've peeled it like hot, like I just did the red one, it didn't look right. So I'm just going to let it sit there for a second and kind of do its thing. And then I'm going to peel it. I've noticed that when I let it sit for a second, um, it just, it comes out better. So I'm going to let that silver one sit, but as you can see, the red one puffed up just fine. Um, and then for the transfer tape that I used for the 2023, um, was the Fresco brand. So everything that I use will be linked down below in the description box. So definitely make sure you check there. And let's go ahead and peel this. Y'all, I don't really like this metallic. I don't know what it is. I'm going to press it again because it's like not puffed. And I really hope my red doesn't get messed up. But let's see. Even though it says... Like the settings, it says that it's the same exact settings as the regular puff, but for whatever reason, it that silver one is just giving me like a hard time. So, I don't know. And then it didn't even want to stick right there. Okay. It's like somewhat puffed and somewhat kind of wrinkly. I don't know. Anyways, the the silver one, y'all, the silver one is like hit or miss. So, mm. but let me get you guys in closer so that you can see. Now you can do this with like, you can do this with sublimation. You can do it with DTF. Um, I had just decided to do it with um, the DTV and the uh, the puff final. Let me turn my ring light off. My ring light is always giving me a glare. Okay, there we go. Now, can you see the, the puff on the hat? Even after I pressed it the second time. Come on, autofocus. Okay, my focus don't want to focus. And now, as you can see, the, the silver is starting to puff up as well. Y'all, I don't know why this don't want to focus. There we go. Can you see the puff on the red hat? And then on the gray. There it is. I don't know why I like this. this the, the silver metallic is just a, a late bloomer. I don't know. But that is all I have for this video, guys. I mainly wanted to show you how you could take a cut file and kind of turn it into, you know, you can add pictures, turn it into a print and cut, and just kind of make it your own. Um, you know, if you have the Creative Fabrica, all of these files are free, so you wouldn't have had to pay for this file or make it. You could just use it as a template and then kind of play with it and make it your own. But yeah, that's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, bye.